Amen. God bless you today. This is Apostle Rudy Henry, where he who saves one life saves most ministries. Uh, TGIF out there, everybody. God bless you. Jesus loves you, so do I. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and a wonderful Friday. I want to pray for the sick today. You know the Lord told me to pray. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 and 8. The power of God is for today. Uh, we read in the Bible, what we read in the book of Acts, Jesus Christ is alive and well and still doing miracles, signs, and wonders. If you are in need, Jesus Christ can heal you and make you whole. Um, he loves you. God loves you today. Will he heal me? Yes. Can he heal me? Yes. Will I be healed? Yes, in Jesus' name. Never stop believing. Yeah, 20 years, 5 years, 1 year, 19 years, 50 years. Jesus Christ can heal you and make you whole. I want to say this, and if he promised you that, which he did, he will. The power of God, the power of Pentecost is for today. It's not something that happened just 2,000 years ago, 100, 200 years ago. The power of Pentecost is for today. Um, you know, the scripture says anointing the sick, um, um, praying the prayer of faith. But I want to say this. Jesus Christ can touch you right where you are right now and make you whole. Uh, whatever that's ailing you. you may, maybe it's your mind. Maybe it's your spirit, your soul, your heart, your body. I want to say this. Man is a three-part person. It may not be your body. It could be your mind. It can be your soul. It can be your spirit. It can be your heart. It all matters to God. God can do it all. He can make you whole. Not just one area. Jesus Christ can heal you and make you whole. Um, so look to Jesus Christ. Do you believe? Yes. I've been praying for the sick, seeing miracles ever since. Um, coming to Jesus and just being a missionary and preaching the gospel. And I have been healed many a times. But I've seen... Um, then there's been times I have it and I prayed and people have been healed and I've laid hands on myself and um, you know sometimes I got it most of the times I did it it's the, it's the mysteries of God uh, but I obeyed God and prayed for the sick and laid hands and anointed oil eventually I got well but Jesus I want to say this this is the ministry of Jesus Christ today um, your blind eyes deaf ears dumb tongues of uh, he's alive and that jesus christ is alive and well in mexico in in in, in germany in in new york in miami and fresno all over the world on a boat thousands of miles it does not matter in space um god is eternal yeah. his spirit is eternal whatever you you need him he will be there yeah on a plane on a bus at walmart you, you, I've seen miracles, man, all over this industry, you know, fashion fair, whatever. <laughs> the Fulton Mall, God will move. He'll move right there with you. So let's believe God. But I want to preach this for a little bit. The days of miracles are not over. Yeah. There, there's no such thing. Miracles all the time. Yeah. Uh, we should live in the supernatural. You should believe God for the supernatural. I don't know how it's going to happen. I just know it's going to happen. You know, God made... He made he made everything out of nothing. Uh, he 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 made everything out of nothing, and he's gonna do the same. He made man from the earth, from clay, and breathe into it. I mean, he made the universe. Don't you know? Is it gonna be through a doctor? I don't know. However, God chooses to to heal you, but he's the healer. Believe God. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna believe God for some things I'm going through. I'm pressing, but I'm still preaching, and eventually it's going to happen, but I'm praying, I'm still believing uh, God's word is true, it does not mean just because you're not healed, it doesn't work, you eventually will be healed, but believe God, brother, you know, maybe they said no, but God said yes, uh, we serve the all, we serve the God of the universe, I just want to preach this for a little bit, um, um, to, it's for today, yeah. In your living room, bathroom, bedroom, backyard, garage, going to work, going at school, in the cafeteria. God can do it whenever you need or want him to do it. Don't limit the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. I mean, in your sleep. I've heard of people dream. I've heard people having dreams and in their sleep being healed. And Jesus Christ, they had a dream and they were instantly healed or they were 
they 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 got healed on the way. My God, man. So hey, praise the Lord. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, you heal them and make them whole. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on my hand as a point of contact, and let's believe, sweet Jesus, for for your birth, for your healing. Lord, heal them in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you're going to Heal their minds. Heal their souls. Heal their heart. Heal their spirit. Heal their bodies. I command you to be made whole in Jesus' name. I command you to be healthy, to be well, to be sound, to be well. Now in Jesus' name. Lord, let the fire of God, the power of the Holy Spirit flow through the be made whole in Jesus' name. Touch them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hand on my hand. Let's believe in the bring them out of the hospital. Amen. In the name of Jesus, turn it around, Lord. Turn it around, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. The power of Christ yeah. in Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Lord, cover them with your blood. Uh, I see somebody, you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. I don't know who you are, but I see somebody, you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Somebody is in fear, uh, in the name of Jesus, behold. Uh, put your hand on my hand. I believe for the miraculous, the power of Jesus to flow through you and make you whole in your body. Body, I command you, be well. Mind, I command you, be sound. Spirit, I command you, be whole. Heart, I command you, be mended in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, now, in all the days of your life. Put your hand on my... I, I, I Pentecost is for today. Jesus said, uh, he said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. He breathed on them, and they were slain in the Spirit. That's happening today. Yeah. Let the power of God overwhelm you. Overwhelm them with your spirit, God, in Jesus' name. Be made whole in Jesus' name. It's not me. I'm not the healer. But Jesus said, they shall lay hands on the sick, so, and you will recover. So out of obedience to Christ in the gospel, be thou made well in Jesus' name. In your spirit, soul, mind, and body, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let's agree. Man, receive your miracle. In Jesus' name, for the glory of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Lord, touch them. Oh, visit them. Oh, hallelujah. Turn it around, Lord Jesus, right now, for a testimony of the living Christ. Oh, in Jesus' name, amen. I want to say something. Say, who is this God who healed me? Jesus, receive him. You can have the greatest miracle your sins washed away. And if you're backslidden and got healed, or, you know, then you can come back to you. Tell them, man, you know, come back to Christ and stop your backsliding. But I, I sense this right now. Um, um, you can be born again and accept Jesus Christ. He will heal you. He want. It's in the Bible. You know? Be healed in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Bring them out, Lord, and keep them out all the days of your life in Jesus' name. I'm agreeing with you. I don't. I'm just agreeing with you. I'm a, but put your hand on my hand as a point of contact, the apostle, in Jesus' name. I've seen so many miracles, uh, and not only in my life, countless of financial miracles, spiritual miracles. I'll be there'll be no time. I'll be here forever telling you, in my in my home life and ministry, Jesus is for today. We serve a unfent a supernatural God. I'm not. I'm talking not in the natural realm. But in the, they said in the natural, there was no way. But in the spirit, when Jesus, the Jesus, the person shows up, all things are possible to him that believe. Don't ever stop believing the, uh, who Jesus says he is. The body, he is, God's word is true. He, you know, made the sun stand still. And amen. Jesus raised the third day and blind eyes being opened and feeding the 5,000 widows getting their sons back from the dead is yeah it's real and he's the same yesterday today and forever the gospel is for today be healed in your body be healed in your mind be healed in your heart in jesus name you will live cover them with your blood jesus i lord give them 200 years i command you to live in jesus name yeah god loves you today jesus came to set the captives free look he came to do this yeah 
to wash. But if you have, if you can be born again, you can have the greatest miracle of all. You can have your sins washed away. Amen. But I have seen that I I I am one of those. Yeah, this I'm one of those. I I I'm, I get out of the natural and into the supernatural because we don't serve a natural God. He'll just he'll put his super on your natural. He'll get involved right there and turn that situation. Lord, turn it around in Jesus' name. Turn it around in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, but I just sensed this. It, um, you know, the apostles went out, and the Bible says he confirmed his word with signs, but it's for today. And thank God for all those who preach healing and uh, um, who have meetings and gatherings and crusades and churches. And just pray for the sick. Don't st stop believing. Um, we serve the, the great physician. Um, I've seen many miracles in my own life in, and in other ministries, but in my own life, home and ministry, and that's one thing I do. If God says, lay ahead, I, I'll pray. And I've seen people cut. I'm just telling you the truth, man. Yeah. But I sense this. You, Jesus loves you and he wants you well. Be well in Jesus' name. He wants you to live. You will live in Jesus' name. You will live. Live in Jesus' name. You will live. Yeah. Um, amen. Look to him and get in the word of God. Stand on the promises of God. Hear about pre hear. Hear preachers about healing and miracles. and Get in the Bible. Spend time with Jesus and ask him, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I like what Brian Bartimaeus said. He said, have mercy on me. He heard Jesus was coming because all things are possible with Jesus Christ. He didn't care if anybody else came through there. But he said, when Jesus, because he heard about the miracles. He heard. He said, "Woo! I heard about this man doing all these miracle signs and wonders. And, um, you know, he heard about Jesus. He hear, he knew. He said, man, this is my opportunity. And he laid hold and received his touch from God. You can receive your touch from God today and be made whole. Yvette, you're on your way. You are on your way. The word of God is true. You are the You are the healed. You're healed in Jesus' name. Yeah, I told I'm working some things out of my own body, but I know I'm healed. I'm standing on God's word because He said, "Heaven and earth shall pass away." Amen. I, 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 I beseech thee, give it to Jesus. He's still the healer. He's the great physician today. Open up those blind eyes. I command those blind eyes open. I command that deaf tongue to be loose. I command you to get out of that deathbed. Get out of that wheelchair. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. And if you never receive salvation, uh, I like what R.W., that lesser is an includer in the greater. The lesser is healing. The greater is salvation. The lesser is an includer. It's the child, healing is the children's bread. My friend, receive Jesus. And if you're backslidden, well, you already know about the power of God. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot about I've been healed a hundred times and out there. You already know about the power of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God will heal you because he's merciful. And then you have a testimony when you stop backsliding now, how you didn't deserve it and God healed you anyway. <laughs> you already know about this Jesus of Nazareth. He's the bomb of Gilead. You know, that's what they call him. The bomb of Gilead. And he's alive and well. It, he, it, it's real. He is who he says he is. I don't know. I'm just telling you, man, to be thou loose and be made whole. Stand on God's word. The blood of Jesus upon you. Live in Jesus' name. The apostle Rudy Henry, where he who saves one life saves the most me. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Amen. I pray for the sick. I've been doing it 26 years. I believe God for the supernatural in my own life. I said, Lord, I need some finances. Lord, I need you to heal me. Lord, I need to be healthy. Lord, renew my youth. And I go out and preach, and I preach healing. Yeah, I preach salvation, but I always preach uh, the, that Jesus is the healer. Been doing it for 26 years, no, 28 years. Um, I just preach every single time I preach Jesus. I say God want to set you free. God want to heal you. God loves you, and that's something that it's in Zose. Zose is complete salvation. It's not just sins. It's complete your mind, body, soul. You're well. So it's Zose. Jesus paid for it. You might as well receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. He took the lashes. He took the crown. He took the spear. He, he sold for 30 pieces of silver, born in a manger. 
You might as well. He paid it all. He, he suffered the wrath of God for your healing. You might as well receive it in the name of Jesus. He, 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 he died and rose. He did it for you. Hey, amen. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Be made whole. Live in Jesus' name. Live, man. Live. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Come on, let's agree. Put your hand on mine. Let the fire of God make you whole. Lord, let it flow in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what he did it for. He went to the old whooping. Whooping. He, you know, he, he got the cat of nine tails. Well, amen. Jesus loves you. So do I. You have an awesome and blessed Friday. It's the Reverend here in Jesus' name. I love you.